Eric the Car Guy here with a short little quick tip video for you with Paul Cangilosi. We're talking about spinometer gears and he says that you can be driven a little bit crazy by this but he has some things that can help you figure out how to figure out your spinometer gears. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so what happens is spinometer gears work in different ranges. They use different drive gears. Uh, Ford has them colored. There's a black one that's six tooth. There's this yellow, which is seven, and, and this kind of neutral greenish one is eight tooth. Mm -hmm. And so what happens is they have a specific range of driven gears that go on the cable. They might go from 17 teeth to 22 teeth. I forget what it is. And when you say the cable, you're talking about the speedo cable. The speedo cable the itself has a gear that actually attaches on it, to this. But they only have a certain range of those gears. So you, if, depending on your tire size and axle ratio, you can be out of the range with the drive gear. Mm -hmm. So you do this whole build, and you'll never get your speedometer to read right, and then you have to go out and buy external adapters or whatever. So. But people can never figure out how to get tooth counts of gears. They just go by yellow and green. And sometimes aftermarket gears, the colors are wrong on them. They're not exactly right. All you have to do is just lay the gear on its side like this. Now you don't count the teeth this way. You lay them on their side. And you count where each spiral comes to the end. So if you watch, see this one's even marked. It's got a little pink spot on it. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. This one over here. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's it. It's that simple. So that, that's how you know the tooth count on the, on the Speedo gear. Right. You can never count them this way. It doesn't matter. Now, with that information, how does that translate into the range that you're talking about as far as speed? Well, actually, they have on the Internet, you can look, there's equations and formulas. Uh, and they'll have, like, where you can plug in your tire size. Like, if you have a 255, 60, 15 tire, with a 355 gear mm -hmm. and a seven or eight tooth drive, it'll spit out what driven gear you need, which is the, on GMs it's a pencil gear and on the Fords it's the gear that clips onto the, uh, the speedometer cable. And what happens is, is that the universal, I think with all American manufacturers, it's a thousand revolutions per mile is okay. what the speedo was set at. So a thousand revolutions per mile, if you plug in these formulas and figure out how many revolutions in my tire I need to be making in, in a one mile a thousand? Mm -hmm. th and that's how they, they calculate the speedometer. So it's, it's something formulaic that I can link to in the description? Right. You can find the links. Yeah. Actually, I have a calculator on my website that people can use. How about we link to your website for you that can, calculator? You can link to the page on the, yeah, you can do that. It'd okay. Great. Sure. So we'll, we'll link to the page on Paul's website. It works for Ford can. and Chevy and Mopar. So that yeah. way you can figure out your gear ratio. But you have to know one of these, you know, one of these variables. So in other words, right. if you, you have to know that you have a seven tooth or an eight tooth or some have even nine tooth drives, once you know that you can figure out your driven tooth because you know your tire size and you know your axle ratio. Okay, well roughly we And with know. that other video, what we did where you have to know your axle ratio and you know your tire size and if you know your drive, then you can figure out and dial in your speedo exactly right. So what, what am I looking at with the 355 gears and uh, I wish I could remember that tire size that I was going for. I think it was like a two 255, 55, 16 is I think what it was. Okay, I've pulled this up off of Paul's site. He's got a speedometer gear calculator and that's whenever you go to pull up a speedometer gear. Uh, you can put in your tire size, which I'm roughly in this range, which gives you the overall diameter. In fact, uh, the tire site, I remember specifically the tire site that uh, I was looking at gave me the outside diameter of the tire itself for figuring things just like this out. Uh, then rear axle gear ratio, I'm going to go with 355 based on Paul's recommendations here. And it comes up with uh, select your transmission drive gear tooth count, eight teeth. And then the driven gear, the one that actually goes into the transmission that's connected to the speedo gear, that one will be 21 teeth. So that gives us a, a good guesstimation of, of what size gear we need, at least for now, so we can get the transmission put back together. Uh, to go back in the car. It's perfect. So we're going to be using this gear then? Yeah. So there you have it. How to figure out the tooth count on your speedometer gear and a little more information to also figure out uh, what, what tooth count you might need based on the final drive and the tire size that you have. All important things that you want to figure out now before you get it all put back together and have to do something goofy later on down the road. Anyway, if you wish to connect with me socially, Google+, Facebook, Twitter, also Instagram. I'm going to put a link to Paul's website also down in the description, so go check that out, including one to this uh, Speedo drive gear kind of thing. Close each of my videos with be safe, have fun, stay dirty. Thanks again, Paul. You got it.